This is Mila, right? Yes. <laughs> Here, I can hold because I don't have the... Can I hold her? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. sweet. Okay. All right. Uh, so we just want to interview, just give you an update what's going on in the children's ministry here at BCC. Who are you? Yeah, I'm Vanessa Bales, so I'm the Youth Discipleship Coordinator at BCC. Um, elementary teacher by day and then this throughout the week and on Sundays. So here at BCC, with you helping out with youth and stuff, what does that even mean? Yeah, so I coordinate all of the curriculum that the kids are learning and try to match that up with what Jim is doing. Either we're a little behind or like right on track. Um, and we break that down to their level so that they can connect with the scripture. Yeah. Yeah, and then I also coordinate who is teaching the classes. Okay, so are you teaching all of the classes behind the scenes? No, I'm teaching some of the classes, but a lot of the volunteers are parents or grandparents. Okay, so that brings me to my next question. Where do you need, or what needs do you have yeah. in, in, in the children's and youth ministry? And I know we've had needs of like, just even recently, where we needed block cubes. Yeah. And we put that out and people helped out. Yeah. Um, what physical needs or helper needs, just what needs do you have back there for fulfilling the vision we have for our, our children. Yeah, so physical needs have been met, which I'm super thankful for, so thank you if you were one of those people that helped us out with that. Um, we're kind of looking ahead to spring, which seems crazy because it's the beginning of October, but if you feel called to help out with children's discipleship at all, we have a preschool through first grade class, we have an upper elementary class, and then we have a middle to high school class. So I'll be looking at scheduling those soon and then meeting with the families that have children in those classes, individual and one-on-one, -on -one, so I can get to know you guys better too. Um, and then on Sundays, yeah. we are not staffing the nursery during the actual service, but we are staffing it afterwards, and that staffing is mostly for Caleb, Mila, and Cleo, our two-year-old. So if that's something that you would be interested in, it's usually just those three kids, um, and that gives us an opportunity to get into classrooms and also do adult discipleship ourselves. So right now it's just been staffed by like Chris, Thanks. myself, Chantel, and then Jim popping in and out mostly, so... If that interests you, let me know. Yeah, okay, uh, this is gonna put you on the spot. Okay. UND or NDSU? Um, I am an NDSU grad for my undergrad, so go Bison. Go Bison, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So all you UND yeah. fans, Sorry. don't listen to anything she says. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just messing. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, but one last thing. Give us just a couple like cool moments or things you've seen even since the start of our ministry year that you've seen behind the scenes back there. Yeah, I think it's been really cool to see the kids connect with each other. So we've been talking about the life of Moses. Yeah. And so far we've talked about baby Moses and this week we're moving on into the burning bush. And last week we did kind of an experiment with our middle schoolers and high schoolers. And so they had to make an egg drop. And so the egg represented their sin and very fragile part of life. And then they had to create a carrier for that egg that could withstand the force of being dropped. And that carrier was supposed to represent God's faithfulness to us and protection over us. And I think it went pretty well um, from what I've heard. So that's just one of the fun things we've done. We've done some other like techie things with our upper elementary kids. And then our younger kids are really connecting through like worship and coloring and art and all the fun things that little kids like to do. So yeah, awesome. Yeah. Well, cool. Uh, for any prayer requests that you have? for the ministry? Yeah, I think if we can all just pray for our needs being filled in the second half of the year um, with volunteers and continuing to be able to program all those classes, I ideally would love to break apart the middle schoolers and high schoolers so that we can meet them a little bit deeper at their level. Um, so if we can just be praying for that, and if you feel called to fill in those areas, please let me know. Yeah, awesome. Well, yeah. I'm gonna pray over you. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna hand you your baby back. Okay. <laughs> She's like, who is this guy? I did get one smile though. All right, Heavenly Father, we ask that you would continue to bless Vanessa and her husband Chris and just um, this new role here at, at BCC, but that you would just bless them. We, we ask for your guidance um, for our young ones and asking that you would keep putting people in their lives to influence them, but also for us older people that we could see our young people as people that are a part of our church now. Not only that, but that we can learn and listen um, from them. And so God, I just we, we pray for, for blessings over what, what's going on behind the scenes with, the, with our young ones. It's in your name, Jesus, that we say, amen. Cool, awesome, thank you, Vanessa. Please